Good morning. I guess you could call this desperation. Well, I don't know, I'm not desperate, but it's Sunday morning. I went fishing yesterday with Jack and we went all right, but I didn't get the big snapper. I really, really want to catch myself a big snapper. It's been a long time since I caught myself a big one. And um, this morning I thought, you know what, I'm just going to come out. I'm only going to give it an hour or so out here. You can see where I am, nowhere special. I don't know if you can see the lights of suburbia right there. I'm probably half a mile out, just anchored up on a little bommy and um, I'm going to give it a crack back to what I used to. Sorry, stop moving around Scott. I'm going back to how I used to do it. I've travelled around, I've been doing a lot of travelling up and down the coast and out wide and further around and um, now I'm just coming back to where I first started doing this whole snapper thing which was inshore, right here, close to home. Um, I only had a small boat at that time and we just hit these inshore bobbies, these nice close ones because they were nice and close and they were easy to get to even when it was rough. Oh look at this, even when get some, I only just pulled up and there's some nice arches on the sounder there. So there you can see where I am right there. Yeah, so I figured I'd just get back to the way I started doing things and stop trying to travel a thousand miles to go and catch fish and just try to catch them right on my doorstep so here we go i've got a bait out this side um i've got some fillet a bit of mullet left over from yesterday and i've got some dirty squid in there you can see all the ink washing around trying to defrost and i've got a soft plastic out that side there um it's an abrolus oh no it's actually the soft plastic i got out this side is a z-man grub it's like a big long grub style lure so let's kick back drink my coffee watch this sun come up it's a little bit spicy the wind this morning but it's no big deal because like you can see i've only i'm only probably not even a mile from the marina so just watch the sun come up drink my coffee and hopefully we can get it done because lord knows it's been a while since i've got a really good one a lot of fish on the sounder I'm guessing probably skippy, they sort of, these sort of areas tend to hold the skippy. I reckon I've got no bait left on here. Yeah, this one's been baited. So this side here, I've just got like a big, basically just like a strip of mullet. Just a strip of mullet there. It's not the prettiest looking boat. Get that out of the way. Get the scale off the point. Yep, just a beautiful strip of mullet like that on a single owner SSW 70. And I'm just gonna let that waft down the burley. Totally unweighted this one. Just letting that waft. My soft plastic, I'll bring that up. This is very lightly weighted. The lightest jig head I could get, I think it's, might be a one sixth, one sixth jig head. It's really light. And with this um, plastic on it, it is almost neutral, so it's not really sinking to the bottom. I'll show you that as well while I'm here. That's it there. Just a big long grub. That'll just, that big long tail will just waft around in the current. I'm casting this. I'm not super far out. I'm in nine meters here and I'm casting that maybe 10 meters. So even when it drops down, it's probably hardly gonna, hardly gonna make the bottom that one. I just really want that one just to be wafting around. I don't even really want to have to worry about it. Just sit it out there and let it waft. I don't want it sitting on the bottom in the weed because it's no use there. I want it just sort of wafting around maybe a meter or so off the bottom. With that, it's, oh, it's almost neutrally buoyant so it'll probably just dance around out there. Beautiful. And this is why I really come out here. I wake up early every morning for work and wish I was out here. 
So on my days off, I'm coming out here. Watch the sun come up over the coast. Look at that, beautiful gold. Best way to start the morning. I'll sleep later, I'll have a little snooze this afternoon. Bites, yes. Oh! That was him. Still there, still there. Yeah, he's on. He's not the big boy I wanted, but he's a start, I guess. Little snappy boy. Stop, stop, stop. There you go, little boy, he can go back. Off you pop. Oh, ah. Oh. Something's having a go here. I feel like he might have just got my bait as well. I'm just going to leave that because I think there's still some sort of bait left. I don't feel like that was the big boy I'm looking for anyway. Sound is lit with good marks. These ones up here, I'd say potentially what we're looking for. That one there looks nice and thick. Notice how they're sort of mid-water to top water. That's why we fish unweighted baits. And why I keep bringing them in and casting them out because the snapper will sometimes just be sitting mid-water. They're not always on the bottom. So it's always good to have those baits on the fall. Um, especially when there's barely, because they'll come up, the barely trail, they'll come up. Righto, let's get serious. Right, hey, let's sort let's sort the men from the boys. I got this whole mullet head here. I'm going to whack that out. You can see my circle hook on the end there. Let's whack out this big bait and see if that will get me a big snapper and um, wade our way through the small ones. That's the theory anyway. Let's go with that. Whack this big boy out. Only problem with big baits like that is stingrays and sharks really like them as well. So, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Um, I'm going to loosen my drag off because that's a really big bait. And if a fish picks it up, I want it to be able to pick it up and swim off without too much resistance and give a chance to swallow it. So I've loosened my drag off. I've loosened that off two turns now, so I know that's two turns. So if something picks it up and starts swimming, I'll give it a little bit, swim off and give it a chance to maybe swallow it down and hopefully that circle hook can find its mark. And then I'll crank the drag up. I know I've got two turns to get it back to roughly where it was. And then I've probably got another turn after that to get it to sort of fighting pressures. Another one. Another small pinky, I think. Oh, all oh, the anti reverse in my surtay just let go. It's been making some funny noises, this old surtay, which is the whole reason I bought a new one. And look at that, the anti reverse has just packed it in. Oh, at least I know what it was that was making the noises. I'm going to have to get this in and get it sorted out now, I think. It's another little pinky again. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, 
Luckily, I was just re-rigging this soft plastic rod back up, and this one's ready to go, so. This is a gulp. That's a gulp. Seven inch, I don't know. Nuclear chicken, oh my lord, look at that. Oh my lord. Win not anybody? Disaster has struck. That's a really bad wind knot. I don't reckon that's coming out in any great hurry. that sorted. My oh, mullet head's getting some loving here, hang on. This could be trouble. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's very Stingray-like. I did call it. I don't think this is a snapper. I did say that mullet head was gonna get a Stingray and it looks like that's exactly what it's gone and done. I'll stay with it for now, just in case it is. But I really don't think this is a snapper. got that big unmovable feel about it. Oh no, that's... No, that's pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure this is not a snapper. That's all right, that's inevitable. I'm kind of happy that happened. What's going on here? Cause that just got smacked on the, oh, that's been baited. That got smacked on the way down that mullet. All right. Big slab of big slab of fresh squid that I caught yesterday. Fresh squid, caught that yesterday. Get that out there. Because that mullet got smacked on the way down. Oh, yeah, 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 come on. 
compass. Okay, proper one. Okay, see the difference between a snapper and a stingray? <laughs> snapper actually got some run in it. Oh, this is a good one. All right, that was a that was that big strip of squid I threw out there. I knew it was going to, sooner or later, I'll keep seeing these big arches on the sounder and that last tail of mullet that I threw out there got absolutely slammed on the drop. I knew there was something decent hanging around. I just had to put in the time. Let's not get too excited, Scott. Oh, this is a good fish, whatever it is. I'm going to say it's a snapper. Good fish. Well, the more it runs, the more I'm starting to think not snapper. But I'm staying with it. I'm saying it's a good one. Oh, there's my squiddy bait. Where is it? Oh, it's a solid fish. Solid fish. I can't see it. Oh, it does not want to come to the boat. He's a pinky, all right. Is it, or is it a shark? I can't really tell. All I'm seeing is brown. No, it's a snapper. Give me my net, my net, my net. Yeah, he's a good one. No, not that way, not that way. No, come this way. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Come this way. I got him, I got him, I got him. All right. Oh, that's what I came for. That's what I came for. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Oh, he's a big fat guy. Oh, the hook's come out of him already. I'm just gonna take this off for a sec. There you go, beautiful pink snapper. I finally got it done. It's taken me a few shots. It's the third time I've been out this week. But there's the boy I came for. Beautiful. This guy is too big. Look how fat he is. He's a big fat meaty boy. I'm gonna stick him back. Beautiful fish. Happy with that. You can swim, buddy. Off you go. I'm going to put him down. Just let him. This guy's, this guy's too big. He's a big breeder, this guy. If I was going to eat one, I'd eat a smaller one than this. I'll just give him a chance to get his bearings. I can feel him starting to kick already. He'll tell me when it's time because he'll just do one big kick and he'll be gone. And off you go. You, you stoked. Got it done. That's it for me today. I've had my fun. Um, I caught that big boy. I was, for me, the big ones like that. I'd rather see that one go back than take that for um, take that for a feed. They're our breeding future, and for me, it's counterproductive to take those and kill those fish. Um, that's the future of our fishery, so I'm always going to look after those. I'll take the smaller ones, 65, 70 centimetres probably maximum. They taste better and they're probably a better eating size, so I'm not too fussed. I didn't get an eating fish today, it doesn't really bother me. I've come out here, I've enjoyed my morning, I've had a coffee, I've watched the sun come up. It's only just gone quarter to eight, so I'll be back in time for breakfast with the family. If you like our videos, stay tuned and hopefully you'll be back into them in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching as usual. You.